Hi everybody! We are back for more wig stuff. <laughs> we are currently continuing on the whole uh, the whole wig thing. Um, we will be working on this thing today, and I will show you how to do that. I already got one piece made, and it will look a little bit like this. And you know, once you put it on, let me just move my camera up a little bit so you can see. Um, it will be attached to the wig, and it will look something like that. And it's wired, so you can bend it to whatever shape you like. Yay! <laughs> so let me show you what uh, what you need for that, okay? Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Um, what you would need is, remember I talked about the whole long strip of uh, craft foam that you need to make? Well, I attached both of them to one long piece. So there we go. That's the long strip. And you would need about three pieces of this. I think it's about two and a half inch um, in diameter. Well, a two and a half inch... Uh, here you go. Two and a half inch here and about an inch and a half here. So, you know, cut to whatever size you please. It doesn't really matter. So you need about three of those. You need wires. I found these little wires. Um, they're not as strong as the one I showed you guys in the uh, previous video or another video. But they'll work. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot how, how heavy it was. But um, it's pretty much pretty thin. I mean, it, as long as you can bend it to your will, then you're good to go. Right, you don't need to, if you can't bend it, then don't use it. <laughs> um, you will need these little guys uh, for cutting if you want, but I use them to cut tape. You would need a lot of these little duct tape because I, I actually kind of like start using these now. I, they, they help me a lot in this process, so I don't have any scissors on me right now. You can use whatever you want to cut the tape, so, yep. And of course you need hot glue gun, yay! Yep, so I got that started in the back, and okay, let's get started. Um, to make these, first, you need to get your little wire string now, of course. Uh, remember what I did with the whole um, Boa Hancock video where I did the whole wiring thing? Well, it's the same process, except you just take your little strip here. Let me sit up a little bit. There you go. So you take that strip uh, of craft foam. You would like... Uh, Oh, you should bend this in half so it don't poke the, the tip of your your little hair piece here. So I like to usually bend mine in half. And you just line it to the edge here. It doesn't matter where. Just kind of line it. Take your little duct tape here and tape the top. Just like that. I'm really loving these duct tape stuff. I'm starting to use them like crazy and I'm liking them. So, same thing. You kind of align them. And I'm going to say, bend them as you go, so that way they can stay down. Um, you know, just tape here and there to make sure they stay down. There's another one. And then you go to the next one. But remember, we keep bending them to make sure they're straight. This one, I like to do these, just so it can hold better. But do it however you like. Dun, dun, yep. So... All right, double taping. <laughs> the reason I like these, originally I was going to do the whole um, uh, putting hot glue over it, but I realized too that, you know, hot glue does make them a lot heavier. And with the, this wire I have, it doesn't support enough of that. Um, it's not strong enough to support hot glue on top of that. So in a way, it kind of works out. I like it. So another duct tape right over here. That. And then finally, when you get down to here, you can just ignore it. <laughs> okay, just kidding. When you get down to here, um, you can tape it if you want. I did. Um, I taped one last piece down here, so eh, okay, fine. For demo purposes, let's do that. <laughs> tape one right in the end here just to hold that last piece down. Okay, so you already got that taped up. One side, ignore the other side, doesn't matter. So don't care too much about the whole, um, oh, if it's look gray or too many tape on it or whatever. We're going to spray paint it later, so it wouldn't matter. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to bend it. Oh, you can't see. Hold on. I got to sit back to like this. There we go. And I'm going to put this right here so you can see. You see the wire? Okay, let me see if I can zoom in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you see the wire? It's not focusing. Why? Uh. So here's the wire, and what you're gonna do is pretty much um, 
you bend it like this. So if you hold it like that, you bend it like this, and then you would then go around about eh, however you please, but I want to say about inch and a half at least, and then loop it around again. So it will look almost like a little square right here. You see that? Hopefully you can see that. There we go. So it'll look like that. And then you can either use a wire cutter to cut it. Since I don't have any on me right now, I'm just going to do this. You wiggle it back and forth, it become hot, and it will break. Ta-da! <laughs> so, yep. After you do that, just kind of... I like to loop it around like this to keep it safe. I'm sorry it's blurry. My camera's not focusing. So then just adjust it to make sure it's even on both sides. Like so. Yep, don't don't think too much or be too precise about it. It doesn't matter, you're gonna hide it anyways. There we go. So now you've got that little piece right here. Hopefully you can see that. See it? And then let's zoom out a little bit. Hopefully you can focus better. There, much better. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to take two of these, just so it can demo with the whole color thing works out quite well. You would bend it like so. You don't, it, it serves no purpose, I mean, just bend it like this. So you can put these two over each other. So you put one on one side, and then one on the other side, like a sandwich. Mm, sandwich. Oh, getting distracted. Anyways, <laughs> you just do that. It gives a lot of stability when you do this. And then take one little tape, tape one side. So the other side's exposed, like that, right? Now is when the hot glue comes in. And this is when you're gonna hot glue this part right here. Hopefully you can see that. Again, don't be too, uh... ow, burn my hands anyways. Oh, my fingers. But yeah, don't be too um, nitpicky about it. It doesn't matter. You're gonna, like I, like I said, we're gonna spray paint it anyways. And then we're gonna actually glue the hair over the top of it. So, yep. There's the glue. Ah. So, just hold on to that until it dries. It's hot. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. While that's drying, just take the other piece of tape and tape it right on top. See all that together. This thing has been working great for me. Like I said, I'm loving this whole duct tape thing. It's awesome. Ah, hot still. So then you would just bend your thing back and look at that. It just lay right on top of your little piece thingy right here, right? So then next thing you need to do is just pretty much put glue all along this and then put this right on top. So let's do that. It's still hot though. I don't know if I want to play with that, but oh, whatever. Here we go. Put glue right on top. Again, don't be too nitpicky about it. Just, just do it. Like what Gintoki always say. Just do it. <laughs> too much Gintama. Okay. So while it's hot, what you can do is just put it on the ground like so and press it to ensure that it's gonna be perfect. I'm just kidding. It's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Ow! Look at all these burn scars, I swear. Oh, life of cosplayers. Get burned and get cut all day long. Ugh. Okay. I think it's dry, maybe, perhaps. But hey, while it's drying, see? Now you've got this little piece here. And that's done. So what you do now is just bend it to the shape you want just to test it out and make sure it looks right. So let me zoom that out. Okay, we're zoomed out. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you can test it out and see if you like it, but pretty much once you put it on your head, it should look something like this. And I'll show, once I have them uh, uh, glued on, I gotta find a glue and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay? Yeah. Okay. See you later. <laughs> So oh, I went outside and did this really quickly just to demo to you or show you what uh, you need to do. Again, <laughs> really quickly. I just pretty much black spray paint this really quick. I don't really care. I just kind of like, oh, whatever. So I just spray painted black. Um, you can go for the actual blue or whatever wig you're using. It'll probably be a lot better. 
I don't have any blue on me. I don't want to go to Walmart at 1 a.m. in the morning because people there are weird. Uh, I went last night. It's 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 weird. <laughs> Do not want to do that again. Anyways, um, so I just go for black. Uh, I'll probably have to respray paint a little bit uh, tomorrow since it's my day off, and I'll be pretty much try to finish everything today. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. So here's the just a quick piece that I spray paint it. So first you need to just spray paint it if you need to. If not, get the blue ones. You don't have to do that. By the way, um, next thing you need to do is get those um, hair that we, uh, when we were cutting the wig and we were saving it. This is just pretty much, I use these, um, where'd it go? There it is. I use these. It's the Techie Spray. Uh, I don't know if Elmo's glue is going to work. I mean Elmer's Elmer. Elmer's glue gonna work or not I haven't tried it um, and I don't think I have the patience to try it just because I have to wait for it to dry and blah 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 and I do not want to do that so I just use tacky spray it seems to work well and so far it seems to be holding up well so what you do is you actually start on the tip because um, you're gonna be doing a lot of layering so what it is is uh, sort out all the short parts that you have whatever short part you want the first layer you can just BS on it, whatever you want, just to get the color on um, or, or the wig on and then you start from here and you spray paint a little bit here, put them on in like in the line like kind of like that, you see that? You kind of just line them up like that and then you go up from there. So you start one layer here, put one, another one over, spray paint, put, I mean uh, spray uh, the tucky spray on and then put another layer over, spray, put another layer over. So. I didn't wait for the dry, so it looks pretty bad. I'm sorry for that, <laughs> but I'll do um, I'll do more tomorrow. Um, either way, you know, you kept doing that, and then once it dries, you have to wait for the dry okay, and prepare your hand for something like these because I got glue all over it. But once it dries, what you do is just get one of those little comb and just brush through, and then um, you can do it at the same time on the other side where the wire is if you want to. If not, it's okay. But I did it because I figure it's actually kind of cool where you will notice that when you do the the right side all these hair are gonna come out and you'll be like ew gross don't cut them yet because once you spray on this side you spray them you just fold them right over and it's on the it's on the bottom so no one's gonna see it the main thing is to take care of the top and make sure it looks great but other than that you just spray it spray this fold it over and then fill it in if you need to um, with other hairs but other than that you know it's pretty much like eh, I tried <laughs> But yeah, you just do all that, and then once you're done with this, what you're gonna do is, let me just see if I can move my camera up a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess that kind of work. Okay, so this is the wig. Okay, this this is the wig. Remember we cut this little guy, his hair. But um, I need to redo his hair a little bit. But this is what you need to do: is you're gonna find the middle part of the, the hair right here because that's where that's where his hair is coming out of, the little antenna is coming out of, you see. So you find a little hair and you notice that the stitching is quite close together and so what you're going to probably need to do is, let me take all these pins out, and then one on top. So what you're going to probably need to do, this is under the wig, you see that? And this is what you're going to be dealing with. You don't want to go way down here because that's kind of way off the head kind of thing. So you need to stay within here like about one inch from the from the little pointy tip. So one inch out is where you want to place the, the, the little antenna. So what you're going to end up having to do is um, figure out where you want it to place it. And maybe like get another different marker, like permanent marker, maybe black or so. And mark where it's going to be and then you will flip it over. Get yourself the exacto knife like I have. Where'd it go? I'm just losing everything. Oh, there it is. And just cut wherever that mark is. So keep making sure that you're cutting where you need to. But you don't want to cut straight across. You would actually want to cut along the line. I don't know where I'm going to cut yet, so I'm not going to do it. But you see how the stitching goes around. So you need want, you want to cut what stitching. The stitch is not there. So the little lace here, you would cut in between the stitches. So cut about like one inch and then what you're going to have to do after that is this guy, is, this is why this comes in. You fold it into that and then just squeeze it through the little hole you just cut and then spread it out 
And then what I usually like to do is sew it by hand on top of the wig. Or you can uh, just hot glue it if you want. I don't like the tacky feeling, but I might have to end up doing it, depending on which one works out better. But other than that, you just, you know, stick it on there. And if you, most likely it's going to look something like this, which is kind of off. I mean, the thing is facing that way, where it's supposed to be facing back. So you can always, like, just, you know, fold it in and twist it to the back. Because it is wire, so it doesn't really matter what you do to it. But as long as you get the result you need, then, yeah. So... Let's see how that's gonna look like. Okay, everyone, well, let me show you what it's probably gonna look like. Let me scoot back, scoot back. Whoa, and I hit my hot glue. Anyways, so let me see. Um, here's, the, here's the foam head, right? But this is gonna be the antenna. Let me move this down a little bit, okay? I can't see, there we go, okay. So most likely you'll be cutting one inch from here, so it's going to probably start right here, um, right there. And then since your line's going this way, diagonal, you want to have your antenna actually facing inward from both sides. So once you input them in there, <laughs> these hands just rolled off. Uh, so it'll be something like that, right? It's easy because once you have them in place, you can always adjust it whatever you want because remember we do have wires on there so you can either squeeze a little tip here and tie it together if you want or glue it together and just so it can be like that and then you can just bend your wire however you feel like it and most likely it's gonna turn out the way you want it to look like I mean it's better to bend in than bend out so you see what I mean like it's wire so you can do whatever you want with it and I'm having it facing exactly how it's gonna be on the wig and you can just adjust that bend it over a little bit straighten that out bend that over a little bit and it'll look like it'll look like that so you can always just pull it out if you need to whatever but if facing the wig sideways like so it's gonna be like that see so simple all right let me see so yep um I think that's the end of it. Uh, I'm not going to do any more videos on this. It's taking way too long. Uh, so tomorrow I'm probably going to finish up the wig. And um, we'll continue on to the boots. Because I'll be sewing as well. Um, I don't know. Did I forget anything? Not really. Man. I pretty much got over everything. So that's how you do the wig. Good luck to you all. Good luck to me. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this too. So we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, I spray painted my boots red. Ooh, look at the shiny. <laughs> but so far, um, we'll continue that at my sister's house once I start sewing. But yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will see you in the next video. Bye!